Hello my lovelies. So today is the day. We're going to try the Botticelli today. Um, a few things before we begin. Um, I should have put it at the very front of this video, what we were attempting. And then after that, whatever this result's going to be. But <laughs> as you can see from the picture, um, we are automatically going to have to go into it making a few modifications. Um, the first being, I do not have short PC curly fringe in the front. I just don't, and I'm not cutting it for one hairstyle because it looks silly. Um, I am unsure how they did the beads in her part, so we're gonna leave that part out as well. Also because, again, it looks a little odd. Um, and, uh, you will notice that one of the hair ribbons or whatever it is in her hair comes under her chin. I have seen a few um, paintings from this period and apparently the style, I don't know if it was like a wig band to hold it on your head, you know, a chin strap, or if it was just some odd fashion statement. I'm not sure which it was, but we're not going to put a ribbon under our chin because, again, a little silly. And the final thing is um, in her braids, um, you see pearls. Um, now, you could poke something through to get the pearl look, like these pins. However, you see how long they are, and they're just not going to stay in. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion that what they probably did is actually thread those pearls right onto her hair. And I am not taking that time. So, I bought some of these uh, string pearls. Um, they're plastic, they're not real pearls. You get them in the notions and trimming section at any fabric store. Um, yay! They come in lots of sizes too. I got like a medium, but they have really big ones and really tiny ones. So, yeah. So I got those, and for the ribbon, I bought another trim. Um, that looks kind of similar. It's kind of a woven trim. Of course, mine's sparkly because it's me. But um, I didn't like any of the black trims, so I went with this instead. Besides, it looks rich. Um, and I tried to get one that had a little white so my pearls would match because, you know, I'm a dork. So, um, yay! So, this will be fun today because I have not actually tried it. Um, I went over it in my head many times, what we're going to do, and some of you have remarked that you kind of like seeing me, what happens in my brain as I'm trying to figure something out. Um, so this will be the first time I'm actually totally attempting it. Um, so that should be fun. Um, so what we're going to need, you need at least two standard size hair ties because we are doing a sock bun in the back of this. Um, since we only have the profile shot, I have to guess a little bit at what's going on. Um, however, I will say, use a smaller sock bun than you normally do. And then this is my normal sock. I'm using a little one, much smaller one for this one because we need a little more extra hair um, for the back piece. So let's slit down the middle and get started, shall we? portion. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna tie off yet because we don't need to. All right. We need to pull small sections from the front that we're going to end up doing that weird loopy drape thing. So, um, I'm going to take this much from each side. Try and make sure they're even. Those I'm going to clip under my chin because we are going to save them for later. You know, this is one of my favorite looks ever. Um, doo -doo. Save for later. Okay, the rest of it, we're gonna put in a ponytail. Ta-da! Um, yeah. 
piece up over my ear. Okay, um, how low of a pony? Well, you know, I like mine high, but this one isn't high. So we're going to do a relatively low pony, um, just high enough that you can actually get a sock bun. So let's pony that. Um, I don't think this hairstyle is going to be really complicated. It's just going to be lots of steps. Um, as sometimes happens, as you know. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, pony. Now, before we sock bun, I think we can take this down now. Ugh. Alright, before we sock bun, um, you want to take two sections of this um, and braid it. Just straight English braid it. So I am taking a section from this side and a section from this side like so. We're going to braid it. However, you can't just simply braid it. We have to add our pearls at this, at this step because our pearls need to be braided in. So I'm just going to put them right over top, like this. Alright, and just to keep the pearls from slipping, I'm going to clip this side. That might clip a little better. And I'm going to braid this side first, since this is the side you all can see. English braid. That's all we're doing. Just an English braid. Like so. So we're going to braid the pearls right in to our hairstyle. Hopefully they will still be able to be seen. I'm making a concerted effort to try and keep them towards the top here. Um, I am also braiding somewhat looser, whoop, somewhat looser than I normally do, um, to try and get a little extra length out of it. Um, yeah, they're showing up okay. Um, how is this going to be when I take it down? Well, let's just hope the pearls don't catch. I don't think they will, because they are fairly smooth, but I am not sure. Um, but, you know, I wanted to make it look as close as possible as I can to the original. So, alrighty. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to braid this side, then I'm going to braid this side. I'm going to tie them both off with clear elastic. And then I'll be back and show you the next step. So we're not just spending all this time braiding hair. Alright, back in a sec. Okay, so far so good. We should have two sections in the front. Um, hopefully not getting too tangled up in our pearls. Um, yes, two sections in the front, our hair in a ponytail, two braids with pearls braided in. Um, incidentally, trying to get the pearls to show up was a little more difficult than I thought. They really wanted to just disappear down in there. But, whatever. Okay, so now, with this, with what we have left over, we are going to attempt to sock bud. Um, I say attempt because I haven't tried this yet. I'm not sure if it'll work exactly the way I want it to, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, sock. Do, 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 do. Fan the sock. What's wrong, Murphy? You do not want closed doors in this house? <laughs> Sorry. Alright. I feel like my sock is mostly covered up. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Now let's put this over like so. Yeah, it feels okay. Um, oh, good times. This will be fun. So let's do that first. <clears throat> All right. Pull this back to the front. Pull this back to the back and let me look. See how it, how it looks. Okay. 
Yay! Oh, I can see my sock a little bit. Because there's not as much hair as usual. I think even better a child sock might have worked. Even better. But that's okay. Um, we have to use a smaller sock. Number one, because as you can see, we don't have nearly as much hair as when we do a regular sock bud. And we need as much length as we can get left over down here. So now comes all the complicated process. So far, it's been fairly standard with nothing overly terrifying. So, let's find the center point of our... Da -da -da -da. Oh, let me get the sticky stuff off the end. Um, yes, so I got trim, um, and I had them cut me, uh, put it there for now, um, I had them cut me three yards just so we would have enough, because we can always trim the ends, but we can't make it magically grow. So, we are going to do a band, um, where are my body pants? We have to X pattern our bodies. here so I can keep my band down. Now we want to go underneath all of this, um, including our braids, including our braids. So pull them back, go underneath, cross over. Look, my ribbon is already sliding. Oh, I hate these. I don't know how they got these things to stay. I seriously, no idea. Maybe they stable it to their head. Um, yeah. So instead of, usually by this time I would have done a second band, but this one's going to be enough of a pain in the butt that we're only doing the one. So I'm just going to cross over one more time to kind of hold in place as such. Okay. Now, um, it does look like this goes over the bun. So let's do that part. We will let's anchor on this side. Um, for the anchoring, I'm going to use my magic grips. Um, so anchor the ribbon, pull the ribbon over the bun, and then anchor the other side. Um, you can use U-pins for this, but I think the Magic Grips are really awesome because you see they have this giant eye right here, which our ribbon can just get right in there. So, and then so that we're all even, we have to do the other side. Which one is not anchored? Well, let's see which one's longer. Okay, it would be this one. So, anchor this one. Although, if I was smarter, I probably would have just anchored away. Get back over that bun. There. And I've lost the back. Back over. Underneath on this side. This is going to end up being like a super long tutorial, y'all. <laughs> All these steps. Alright, let me have a look-see. Well, this one doesn't want to cooperate. Get down in. Uh, maybe I accidentally, when I anchored one, I anchored two. Not mean to. separated out of this mess, shall we? Uh, braid. 
I should have one on the other side as well. <laughs> Braid. All these little hairs that want to join the party. Okay. So, uh, what should we do first? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do the tail first and then we'll mess with this free for all up front. Um, okay. So, what we're going to do with this bit is you're going to take your two ribbons and then just cross them over, wrap them around, cross them over, wrap them around, cross them over, wrap them around, cross them over. Yeah, you see where I'm going here? Yeah, pretty much just wrapping. Let me pull this over my shoulder so I can see a little better. Let's move all of you over here. Where was I? Oh, cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Um, yeah, it's not a braid or anything. It's just her hair loose with the little crossover thing happening. Um, yeah. So we're going to get down. Uh, I know you can't see the ends. This stupid camera um, just will not allow it. So I'm going to get to there and then tie it off. Um, it keeps putting me in the second. And somebody, you know, puts my face in the center and somebody's like, oh, turn off facial recognition. I can't on this. I've got a Sony bloggy cam. I can't. Just like I am, everything is like super pink and my hair is super red and my lipstick is not the same color that you're seeing. It just, I can't adjust the color. I can't adjust. It put me in the center. You know, I'm backed up. It should be, no, whatever. Anyways, tie off the end. So now we have that part done. And where's my braid? Okay, so this is the part that is a little odd to me. But look at me sweating. Blot. I'm gonna blot real quick. It's hot in here. Um, I know some of you guys are like in the middle of winter. It's 60 degrees in Virginia today. So um, where was I? Oh yeah, this is the part that I think is a little odd. But I'm sure it was like the fashion of the day. So, let's see if we can make it do it. Do, do, do. Let's get to, that looks about right. Da, da, da. And what I'm going to do with this extra hair, hers just kind of stuck out because I'm guessing of her layers. Oh, I want this to go up and over as well, but let's do this first. Okay, pull this back, pull this back for the moment, grab the end of this, wherever it is, not all of it. Okay, that's all of it. And wrap. Because we have to hide up this end. See? I do plan stuff out in my head. It just doesn't always work the way we want it to. Um, but this is coming together okay. And then just pin that end down. Um, let's go ahead and do the other one as well, so we can save our ropes for last. And this was why women of the day and age had other women come in and do their hair. Um, because they were all insane and did crazy hairstyles. <laughs> oh, Alright, there we go. Another pin. Okay, now for the braids. 
finally, those braids we did back way at the beginning. Alrighty, I'm going to bring it up, over the top, and then we're just going to pin it. What is going on? Why are you not staying? Stay underneath the braid and behave yourself. braid on the other side. Same thing. Bring it up and over and pin. I'm running another pin letter there. Now, these braids don't seem very long. Let's see, where did my mirror go? Ah, I set it out. Pepper. Um, yeah. I think this is it, guys. I mean, I, uh, it seems like it is. How's that look from the side? Hmm. My brain looks a little odd. I'm going to pause and go consult my photograph again, and then have another look-see. So, I'll okay. right back. I'm right. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, it's just that her braids are a lot longer. Um, but I imagine her hair is probably a lot longer. Or they used a hair piece. I don't think they did. It doesn't look like they did. But it's a painting, so what do I know? Um, yeah, so you kind of split in the middle or I don't know. So here it is from the front, from the side. And from the back, you can put the braids back like this if you so desire. So that's it. This is the only part that's so weird, isn't it? So this is what I'm going to do. Because um, I do have to leave the house today, but I'm not going out like this. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few pictures of this, the finished style. And then we're going to deconstruct and reconstruct it into something that I can wear out of the house and not feel odd. Okay, Alrighty, peace. back in a sec. So, um, I got the pictures taken. So let's take some of these pins out. Uh, preferably only the ones that are dealing with the braid. Let's see how well I do that. <laughs> um, it'll probably help if you use different pins. I should have magic grip up here. Pull that out. Let's unwrap our braids. And now I am going to take this out. And I should have one more. This one. Oh. Okay, now we're going to unwrap the sides here um, because because this is the one part of the hairstyle that looks funny to me. <laughs> At least too funny to wear out. Um, you might think it would be, oh, well, the this side's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, there we go. Um, you know, the pearls or the elaborate ribbon or any of that mess. Um, no, I wear that stuff all the time. I don't care about that. Um, it's just the wonky pieces on the front. So let's modernize this a bit. Um, with everything we have thus far. All right. Let's. What should we do first? I say. Let's turn it into an updo. So. I'm mostly up to. What I'm going to do is just take my rope braids. Actually, not yet. Because they're pretty. We'll actually do pretty much the same thing. Only we won't leave them hanging down. Um, let's pull them. Should do this side first. You can see what's happening, shouldn't I? 
Let's pull them straight back. Oh gosh, that's not smooth. Let's pull them straight back. Still not smooth. Where is my BBB? I guarantee you my husband stole it. Okay. And wrap around everything. Everything. It would be really awesome if that stupid ribbon would stay put. to cooperate. Of course it does. Um, <laughs> let's get a little twist. No, no stay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And pin that. Um, and then what we're going to do with these two braids down here. Um, I am just going to wrap them at the end. Wrap them around. Tuck in the end. I'm not even going to pin that one yet because I'm going to wrap this one around. side of course was completely cooperative because that's what happens. Now let's see if I can wear it out now. Better. Better. Okay. This one I can wear to the store. Um, yeah I still look like I'm going to a Ren fair, but that's okay. I don't mind. There are no Ren fairs in my area which makes me sad. Oh and I wanted to show you something that I learned from JJJ. Long hair for you to see. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is what she uses in her sock bun. Like so. Um, you can just poke it right into the sock. And now you have a pearly bun. Which I am going to do now. Um, yeah, because it's just a sock back there. You know what I mean? Oh gosh, especially when my hair is showing through, yo. Uh-huh, pearls. Pearls, pearls. Of course, when you take this down, you want to be especially careful not to jab yourself. Um, my socks are really showing through on that side. Mm -hmm. Pet, pet, pet. There we go. But yeah, um, she makes these super, you can put them up in your braid, up at this part. Um, yeah, they're just corsage pins. Um, and it makes everything fancy. Now, I do believe it's only really going to work well on a sock bun because you have a sock under there for it, like a pin cushion, if you will. Um, a regular bun, you're probably going to end up jabbing yourself in the head. So only use this on sock bun. Um, yeah. But, I thought that might be what she used. I could have just asked her quite frankly. But there, we have a couple more pearls just for giggles. So, I'm sure this is like an hour long by now. So, anyways, there's your Botticelli. This is the modified version. Um, we did do the legitimate first, as I'm sure you saw. So, um, toodles guys. 
I will see you probably later today um, with the Robo Nails because I started to chip, so it's time to slap the glitter on there so I can tell you how to take this polish off. Um, Alrighty, guys. Um, until next time, have a great day. Bye.